and I'm a nurse educator currently working here in London and I do train overseas nurses who are about to take their OSCE. Sorry po pala sa background kasi I'm waiting for my rice. Hmm? Yeah, alam niyo naman po, rice is life. Yeah! Uh, by the way, I just want to say thank you as well sa lahat po na ating mga kababayan na nagsisend po sa akin ng messages <clears throat> giving me some words of um, encouragement some um, if even others are sharing these stories which is nakakataba po ng puso uh, thank you po thank you po um i'll try my best po uh, may, kahit medyo mahihiyan po ako pero i'll try my best po na makapag uh, upload po ng mga videos that can help you out with your OSCE preparation so yeah acha today po uh, we just can discuss about hand hygiene i know it's a basic thing to do pero it's a very important aspect sa OSCE uh, as well as uh, ating workplace, uh, in our home, and also in our community just to prevent po the spread of infection. So, tingnan po natin. So, today guys, we're gonna discuss about hand hygiene. So, spread the love, not the germs. So, before we proceed po, uh, we just can have some time out news. Uh, first thing first, uh, we just can have an update on what's currently happening po with regards to the coronavirus outbreak we can uh, also just a bit of this a uh, bit of run through with what's the statement of the world health uh, organization with regards to this matter and a very uh, important topics as well yung racial slur that's happening uh, all over uh, the world and yung prevention po natin no, in terms of how we can uh, uh, prevent infection in general. And, uh, worldwide po, the number of coronavirus cases is around 80,000. Although these figures just keep on increasing. And majority of these cases is basically in China with around 75,000 uh, people in, uh, affected. In South Korea with, with 24, Japan 107. And excluding po dito yung sa Diamond Princess na cruise ship which, is, uh, which also have around 600 plus people uh, if, uh, affected and in UK we have nine cases and in Philippines po we have three as what I've said and this figure just keep on uh, increasing as well although out of these cases the active cases is around 55,000 and then 78% is, uh, is just in mild condition and 22% is in serious or critical condition so far po the number of uh, people who died already from this case is around 2,000 plus um, but the good news is uh, there's also around almost 20,000 of people who already recovered from this uh, virus so it's a positive thing as well that we can hear this kind of uh, update then uh, you can always visit the website of the uh, World Health uh, Organization so for uh, for updates uh, regarding with the coronavirus uh, outbreak. And then we have issues like racial slur which is really unacceptable. And the outbreak of this coronavirus is not an excuse to be racist. And just remember guys, hate the virus but not the person. And let's just spread love, not hate. Whatever happened to the values of humanity, whatever happened to the fairness and equality. It's just really so sad no, to hear news about a racial slur when people are discriminated because of their race, because of their color, because of their age, disability, or ethnicity. And I hope people will not forget that the real danger is not the spread of this virus, but the real danger there is when we lose the essence of why we are made. We are not built to, we are not made to hate one another but we are here to love our neighbor so yeah. and so we might ask what can we do uh, in order to prevent the spread of infection in general so these are some of the recommended uh, advice by the world health organization so some basic tips like 
covering our mouth and nose when we cough or sneeze, especially when we are in public places. Uh, avoiding close contact with those who are sick. Uh, wearing appropriate mask and the personal protective equipment or the PPE, especially when you're working in a healthcare setting. Uh, regular hand hygiene, which is really basic, but can re really make a difference in terms of uh, preventing the spread of infection. And we will gonna discuss it further in a bit. And stay at home if you feel unwell, but if manifesting fever, cough, and difficulty breathing, please seek medical help and share your travel history. And if you are here in uh, UK, you can dial the NHS uh, number 111 uh, to seek for advice so that we can uh, really uh, know what to do next and not just go straight to a and &E and present yourself that you have these symptoms. And just to remember as well, in hand hygiene, we have these uh, five moments. So what are these? Unang una po, of course, before we uh, touch our patient. Secondly, before any clean or septic procedure. Third is after body fluid exposure risk. Fourth is after touching the patient. And fifth, after touching the patient's surroundings. So just be mindful of this one po, not just in, uh, in your OSCE, but also when you are working in the ward or in the hospital because it can really make a difference no, in terms of how we can prevent the spread of infection. And so, these are the steps of hand hygiene based on the Royal Marsden Manual, the 9th edition. First one, of course, is to rub your hands on the palm, like this. Okay? And then, you need to rub the back of both hands with fingers uh, interlaced, like this. Third, you need to rub your palm to the other palm with fingers interlaced, like this. Fourth, you can uh, then rub your back of fingers to opposing palm with fingers interlock, like this. Fifth, you need to rub each thumb clasped in opposite hand using the rotational movement, like this. Six, you need to rub your fingers on palm of both hands in circular motion, like this. And then seven, you need to rub each wrist with, oppo with opposite hand, like this. So you can also interchange the five and six, so it depends on you as long as you manage to perform the seven steps of hand hygiene, uh, which I'm gonna show you in a bit. So just some important reminders lang po in terms of washing our hands. So it is essential to wash our hands if it is obviously dirty, before we eat or before we handle the food, uh, after using the toilet, if we have patient and have diarrhea and or uh, having vomiting, if we have patient and have symptoms of cough and flu as well. And I'm just gonna show you guys how to do hand rub with the help of my versus nurses. Check it out. Dorsum to dorsum, fingers interlaced, fingers interlocked, tips to palm, tips to palm, thumb rotation, thumb rotation, wrist rotation, wrist rotation. My hands are clean and dry and I'm now ready to proceed to my patient. Palm to palm, dorsum to dorsum, back of the hand, fingers interlaced, fingers interlocked, fingertips to palm, fingertips to palm, thumb rotation, thumb rotation, wrist rotation, wrist rotation. My hands are clean, I am now happy to proceed. And our next topic is we're going to discuss about the National Early Warning Score or the NEWS2. So basically this document or this form is uh, very essential in terms of how are we going to plot our vital science data so that we will know if how often are we going to monitor our patient and if escalation is really needed. So this is a very interesting topic. And I, hope and I just hope uh, you learned something new today and thank you for watching and bye-bye.